Hi guys, how are you today? So I found this question. This guy wants to fade particle when they get killed. We, it has some replies here, but I don't think this question is solved. So here's my take on it. So I have already created something. So in this case, I'm using kill volume. So when they are killing, they are dissolving, they are fading. And in this example, uh, I'm using kill when they are colliding. So when they're colliding, they get kills, but there's delay, they, they are eroding, they are changing color. So you can do anything. So let's start this tutorial, how I did that. So I have this folder and I'll make a new Niagara system. I'll just make FX and inside it, I'll add emitter, fountain. Okay, so Basically, we have this and I'll just delete this velocity and make sphere a little bigger. And I'll just make this zero on Z. So you have this and let's also make this red so it will be much visible. And I'll just drag it in here in the viewport. So basically, you have this falling particle and the question is, if we can fade out particles when they get killed so basically in your effects uh, how you want to kill your particle that depends on this thing and there can be two things you are directly killing with a surface or with a, a kill condition or you are killing after collision so let's check first uh, if your particles killing after collision so basically, if you have a collision inside, and let's make the particles a little bigger. I'll turn this off, make the size maybe 20. So particles colliding and they're bouncing, and I'll just make the gravity on Y maybe 300. So it will be like this, so you can see the collision happening properly. Okay, so first condition is if you want to kill particles after collision, you can just take the kill. And after the collision, you can connect it with has collided. So if the particle is taking collision, they will die immediately. So in this case, if you want, like, I don't want to like uh, kill them quickly. I want them to fade when they are colliding with the, uh, the ground or if you have any other object like this sphere so if i just scale this sphere and they are killing when they are connecting they are colliding with the sphere so you want them to fade when they are colliding with it so that can be one condition first we will check how we can fix this then we will see if you want to just kill them uh, like by using kill volume or other thing so what you can do that so first thing let's say uh, you have this and i don't want to take this actually you have some other options so basically you have this fading already connected here and particle fading okay but you want them to fade here when they are colliding just after that they should fade out whatever they have life so first thing you can go to collision and there's an option age colliding particles so if you turn this on and higher the value you have here after collision they have the very little life so like after collision they have this much of life so if you make this like maybe 30 see after collision they are not dying quickly they are just fading quickly so this can be the one option to use but they ha it has some uh, problem and that is if you have this here like this up now they are not fading properly because i have moved it up and it works on the life of particle so if you have this oops little closer to the surface now they are taking more time to fade so these things uh, it has some issues so like if i move it here and i just this way here and i want them to fade quickly after this so i can increase or decrease this so now they are just they are quickly fading okay but if i remove this 
here they are not fading quickly although you can see little bit fading here but that's the issue it works on the live so you can add some condition here how far this is before collision i just want to give you the i wanted to give you the overview of this if you don't know there is an option like that so if your particle is fixed and not moving you can use this uh, for a particular condition the next option is uh, you have this i'll just turn this off and i'll take this scale color here and if you have a collision inside your emitter and you'll search here number of collision this module is available because you are using collision and if you see what it's writing it's writing so many things for you to use and inside it you will have number of collision somewhere uh, yeah number of collision so you can use it like these particle uh, uh, colliding here then they are colliding here so first time they are colliding here second time they are colliding here and they will keep colliding again and again so what you can do here in this curve if you drag this number of collision and i want when my collision is zero my collision is zero my opacity should be should be one and if my collision is one that means the very first time they are colliding my opacity should be zero so they will instantly just kill because opacity on the next frame going zero but if you make that next point like uh, two so it will take second collision to kill them or fade them but if you make this like a uh, five you can see yeah actually the life is they need to increase like so they are fading somewhere here after fifth collision so you can also use this this thing you have to uh, sorry this thing you have to just work on it how you want it so these are the two options that you can implement and the third option is uh, my favorite uh, that you can use and i have already covered here in this tutorial if you go to my youtube channel cg how and i recently created a video this one two days back change color after collision so when you can change the color after collision you can almost do anything with the particles you can fade you can do anything but after collision so you need to have a collision okay so because we are just working on collision uh, right now we will see if we don't have collision what we can do so first what we can do here i'll just turn this off and i'll take here if you type here over increment over time it has this boolean when you have to enable this so i will connect has collide so when my collide particle colliding it will be unable and then it will give you a, 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 a value that is changing and with the rate of this value so now i'll just move it here and in here you can just use that thing here so that will be our counter yeah this counter and so if this is zero it should be one and this is if this is one i want to make this uh, zero so it will just fade and if you want to fade it quickly you can increase this like five so now after collision they are just fading so you have a very good uh, like uh, control on this so even if your particle system is uh, like here see they are fading but they are not dying and if you collide it here they are still fading so this is the option you can do now we have covered this thing uh, and you can also like do anything if you want to like erode so let me save all first and let's make a material m uh, erode and i'll just quickly make this a uh, mask material and i'll take the texture i have this aura then i'll take the step and i'll connect this here 
So if this is one, this will be white. If this is zero, this will be black. If this is 0.5, it will be in between. And I want to just invert the texture here. So it will show you the lines. Then I'll take a radial and I'll just multiply this radial with this. And I'll take the particle color and just connect this here and multiply this and connect this in the opacity mask. Now we will use dynamic parameter and see how we can use dynamic parameter according to Collision. So let's call it erode and let's make this unlit, slide it and just save it. So basically if now I use this material inside this and I'll just delete this uh, fade thing so i have this and i'll take the dynamic parameter and the dynamic parameter i'll just make it one so basically nothing is happening here and let me also make the size maybe 40 and little bit color variation so they don't look flat and i'll also increase the spawn rate maybe 1000 for now so you have this pool and you want to like erode that because this value will erode so basically now you can use a curve and here you can connect counter first let me show you if you have this uh, like over life and you have life uh, like two so they are eroding okay but they are not eroding on uh, on collision they are just eroding over life okay so if i'll increase the life like four they will erode somewhere here because of the life but you want to erode them quickly after the collision and let's also make this little more item so what you can do now you can add here counter this and at zero this is one and at and at one this is zero so after the collision they are quickly eroding and if i here use this they are eroding and you can use this also for the color change so you are, if i now take the scale color and instead of this if i make a plot here and again curve again counter and if this is zero this should be one and if this is one this should be zero so they will also become black we can also make this like they will be more black so now visible properly i'll just show them on that cool so when they are they are colliding they are eroding and they are uh, also changing color basically you can fade also anything now the question is you don't want to collide you just have a kill volume and now you can do you want to do the same thing so i'll just uh, delete this i'll just duplicate this save all and this is fx1 uh, let's rename this this is fx collision kill okay and now in this one fx kill volume I want to use the kill volume in this one so i'll drag it here again and now put it here and i don't want to use collision i don't want to use this i don't want this and i don't want this let's make it one okay so now you have particle and oh i just and I, I will need to undo i change another effect this is actually collision. I need to open this kill volume. I'll just move it here and I'll open this. Now, in the kill volume, I don't need uh, these things. So I'll just be setting and I don't need this, this, this. So now, particle will fo fall and you want to kill them using kill volume. Uh, like someone all, uh, suggested here like using kill volume like this so how you do that so you have this kill volume although you can you have some shapes but you can also take the planar 
and when you take the planar because the simulation position and it is zero so it is the same position you have on the sphere location so i will just want to offset it little bit minus one now from the simulation position they have offset and now they are killing here although you can make it little more down or you can make a user parameter of that value this value and then the blueprint you can connect it with anything so now they are killing here and now you want to do the same thing you want to erode them before here and you want to also fade them or want to change the color so how you do that so basically when you have this thing you have one more thing that is reason mask i have already a separate tutorial on it so if you go here and search region region masks okay so i have a tutorial only on this 16 minute tutorial two years ago i created in q5 so basically when you take this region mask it has the same kind of volume thing like we have in kill it will give you all these shapes and it will give you the offset but it also give you the fall off so now you have the kill and that is like minus 300 so basically if this is minus 300 where they are killing and you want to fade so you have to take a gradient from here to here so that means from minus 300 to maybe minus 200 you need a gradient you need a, a value so what you need in the region mask i will take the planar and i will make the offset minus 200 in the kill we have 300 in the region we have 200 and now we can increase this region maybe like 30 or 50 okay after doing this nothing will happen but if you'll see what it writes it writes these values that you can use so like for now let's use it for color then we will use uh, it for uh, other parameters like tanning parameter so i'll just make it float and i want to make the color darker so basically you can use a curve and then here if you search region you will have this float and if this zero i, I want this one if this is one i want it zero so let's see what happening you have this kind of thing so when you're making it black you can do anything with this so basically if i just disable this and take the basic sprite so it's because this is additive it's fading cool so this is the thing and you will see you will think that we have two parameter how to like do things uh, with these two so what basically what you can do make this one offset uh user parameter now you have offset copy this on a kill because this is uh, 100 uh, uh, more value so you can just add and paste this and so now basically you have a user parameter that you can move up and down and it will work see so now i'll just delete this turn this on i don't want to like say it. this is uh this is it and actually this value should be like minus yeah so now i want to dissolve it also so what i'll do i'll go to my dynamic parameter here i'll take the curve and again region i'll go here i'll just copy this and my dynamic parameter paste this and this should be after it that's why it was no sign so they are now dissolving cool depending on this so if you increase or decrease this kill so these two conditions now covered if you want directly kill you have these things if you want to kill after collision then you have some options so i hope that's it that's my take on this question so thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye